The crash has affected a local baseball community. The victims include a beloved college coach, his wife, and daughter. Well, that coach led his team to four state titles and made a huge impact on people's lives. CBS 2's Leslie Marina is live in Costa Mesa, where she spoke with those devastated loved ones. Leslie? Jeff Sharon, in fact, we spoke to the father of John Altabelli, the coach here at Orange Coast College. He said he got here at 6 this morning because he just needed to be here. He said just as Kobe made Staples Center his home, his son made the baseball diamond his. Now, take a look. That made evident by this memorial that continues to grow, not only remembering the coach, but also his wife and his daughter. Look what he built. You know, this is the house that John built. This is his. Standing at the baseball diamond where John Altabelli coached for 27 years, Jim Altabelli spent the morning reminiscing on his son's legacy. He helped a lot of kids. Good guy. We all miss him. Much like Kobe Bryant, 56-year-old Alto, as players called him, was a champion in his own right. He led the Orange Coast College baseball team to the state championship last year and just a few weeks ago was named Coach of the Year by the American Baseball Coaches Association. Amen. But as players took the field just 24 hours after learning about Altabelli's death, they focused on the impact he had outside of the game. Never left you feeling like you weren't cared for. He treated everyone like they were just a starter and they were playing every day. And, uh, you know, it's just tough because I'm going to miss having that presence around. The team draped a poster with Altabelli's number 14 in the outfield today. They plan to play their first game in honor of the coach tomorrow. But his death is just part of this tragedy. The coach's 13 year old daughter, Alyssa, and wife, Carrie, were also killed leaving behind a younger daughter, Alexis, and older son, JJ. Lexi just lost her family. She does have a great big brother, so we're counting on all of us helping the two of them get through all this. Tonight, a memorial continues to grow on home plate, where Altabelli spent so much of his time, and despite all the pain, his sister is trying to cherish the memories. He's just been a wonderful person to have in our lives personally. And like I said, we're just still trying to process all of this. And earlier today, there were so many uh, current players as well as former players that stopped by the stadium. Each one of them used the same word to describe this coach. They used the word father-like because they really felt like he was a second father to all of them. The team does play tomorrow at 2 p.m. Everyone's encouraged to come out. They will have a special ceremony for the Altabelli family before that game. Reporting live in Costa Mesa, Leslie Manning, CBS 2 News.